bunnies welcome back it's me Jenny how is everyone doing today okay we are going to be making some super cute paper clips of course we have to have paper clips in our Halloween series it's a must so I'm gonna show you guys how to create this really super adorable paper clip and um, you don't really need a lot of supplies I'm also gonna show you sort of kind of like if you don't have um, what I'm using, something that you can use that we probably all have at home, okay? So let's get started. So what are we going to use for this project? Okay, so I have here these um, Day, Day of the Dead uh, cupcake toppers that I bought at Michael's last year. I think I used this in one of my Halloween series last year. I don't remember what we did with it but anyway so I have these leftovers from last year and I obviously going to use it because I mean of course we have to right so what I did was when you have when you get this cupcake toppers you can actually um, pull this apart so what I do is I remove the toothpick really carefully and then I peel these two off very carefully you just pull them apart okay very carefully and what you're gonna get is two of these wonderful little skeletons which is perfect because if you're short in your supplies boom then you got two okay so that's what you're gonna do and that's exactly what I did with these okay I pulled them apart and I'm gonna work with these now what I also did was I added some little uh, rhinestones to the eyes like I, I did here. Let me show you up close. You see the little rhinestones? I added rhinestones in the eyes. So I'm going to do that for these as well. Just to give it a little bit of a nice look. Why not? Right? If you don't have rhinestones, you can always use... um pearls or you can always use like tiny tiny buttons you can also use sequins if you want see so that's what you're gonna get two beautiful little skeleton with lovely eyes that are glowing so perfect when you have your little skeleton all blinged up you are going to need a circle now this circle I punched it out from a envelope because I like the color and it's really Halloween inspired so use whatever papers you want it doesn't have to be Halloween paper it could be anything again I used an envelope so I mean just be creative you're gonna need a smaller punch to cover the back of your paper clip just like I did here see that okay so it doesn't look ugly so once we do that okay the rest is easy let's put together our little paper clip so i'm gonna put my little skeleton face in the center of my orange circle that i have here just like that There you go. And you should get something like this. See that? Now, how are we going to bling these babies out is we're going to use the Halloween little witch hats that I told you guys we were going to use on our next video. So, if you go to uh, Dollar Tree, you probably found these um, adorable felt stickers. You have like Halloween witch um boots in here and some hats i just took out some hats and it's actually perfect because it matches the skeleton so it's absolutely awesome so what you're gonna do is you're going to add the hat to your skeleton oh and you're gonna give him such a nice way look he's gonna look so awesome and so sexy mm -hmm. sexy mm -hmm. there you go and there's your cute, adorable little skeleton. How cute is this? Now, what I do 
which I don't have with me, which I should have had with me, is actually give me one second. Give me two, two seconds. Two seconds. I need it because if I don't do this, then everything's gonna stick to the back of my hat. So what you're gonna do is um, the, the hat obviously has sticky part to it, right? Obviously. What I like to do is I like to take my baby powder with my finger. I go right over the back and that's going to take the sticky part out and it's going to help your sticker not to like, you know, attach like any dust or anything on it. And you won't have it sticky anymore. So that's what I do. I mean, you can also, if you want, just place down some paper and then trim it out. That's too much work for me. Whatever works for you is perfectly fine. I'm perfectly okay with baby powder. So I always use my baby powder for situations like this, okay? I just add a little bit of baby powder on the sticker and that will remove the sticky part and you will have a nice smooth back that's not sticky, okay? A nice trick uh, that Jenny providing for you. Okay, once you do that, then the rest is done. We're going to add our paper clip to the back of our little um, skeleton. So make sure that the paper clip is facing down, like, you know, this part is facing down. You don't want this part to be facing up because then you can't really paper clip anything, right? So use whatever color of paper clips that you want. I'm using these gray ones because I have them and I kind of like the colors, kind of coordinate with Halloween, to me anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a little glob of hot glue right here. I'm going to add my paper clip to that glob of hot glue. And then I'm going to add more hot glue to the circle, the smaller circle. And I'm going to place that right in the center of my paper clip, holding it and pressing it down so that the hot glue can really adhere to the paper and the paper clip. Okay, and there you have it. Let's do the other one. Okay, paper clip facing down. Then you're gonna come here. If you wanna add some hot glue in here, you can also, or add it in a circle, whatever you want. You're gonna add your circle. You're gonna try to work fast because you know that hot glue dries really quickly, right? And there you have it. Press it down, be careful you don't burn yourself, okay? And there you have your super adorable paper clip done in no time. How cute is that? I love it, see that? See that now if you need to go back and fix a little bit go right ahead I gotta add a little bit of I think I will have to add a little bit of glue here just a little bit so I can adhere to the paper there you go and then the last thing you're gonna do to your paper clip is you're going to put a little bit of some pretty I don't know some pretty looking you know ribbon and pom-poms to it so I have this like funny looking ribbon that I, I use on this one as you can see here so you what you can do is just add a little dab of hot glue and you can add this to the back if you want or the front however you want I mean I'm gonna add it to the back but you can add it to the front if you want I'm gonna add a little dab of hot glue I'm going to add this really fun um, what do you call it ribbon and I think it's gonna really look like freaking adorable. I love it. And then I'm gonna finish it off by adding a little pom pom in the cent in the little like center of the hat. The mini ones are good because they're not too big. Right in the middle, right there. And there you have your adorable little paper clip complete. And what I also did was I made myself a little bow, okay? And I'm going to add that little bow right in the bottom of the pom-pom. And that's gonna finish my super easy, adorable little paper clip. 
See that? And there you have it. Look how cute that came out. <laughs> how funny and adorable is that? I love it. So freaking cute. Okay, perfect. Now, what I was telling you guys before is if you guys don't have, for example, this around, then go and use what you have. I am sure we all have felt little um, uh, pumpkins or, you know, whatever you have. Um, you can probably find these anywhere. They sell these everywhere. You can actually use these and do the same idea that we did with the skeleton. So what you would do is, again, you will obviously glue this down to a circle, okay? And then you will add the witch hat. Let's see. Okay, add your witch hat. Just like that. See that? And you would do the pom pom if you want. You would do the ribbon if you want. Here I have a little pom pom. I'll add a little pom pom. And it's just the same idea as the skeleton, but if you don't have a skeleton, then use whatever you have. Don't go crazy buying stuff that you don't need. Utilize what you have at home. It's perfectly fine. Okay? And then I have a little bow here that I can put like that. Here's my little bow that I did earlier. Right there. See that? Boom. And if you want to add um, paper clip to the back of this, give me one second. Let me get a paper clip for you. And I'm also going to get a circle. Here, let's do this the right way. Let's get a paper clip and let's get a circle. So we're going to do a circle. Okay. And we're going to do another circle for the back. Okay. And this is just another way for you to utilize your things. And I'm just showing you so that you don't feel that you have to use certain materials. You can use whatever material you have at home. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's add the pumpkin to the circle. Okay. And now let's add the... Let's add the um, the paper clip. And then let's add the circle that I just cut out. Just covering that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some baby powder to my hat, okay? Because I need to add some baby powder to my hat. So here's my baby powder. Anything that's sticky, just add baby powder to it. Trust me, this is an awesome trick and it works wonders. Perfect. And there you have it. See? A little adorable little paper clip made out of a felt pumpkin. Same idea as this one. And the only last thing that I need to do for the for these in the back is I wanted to add a little sticker that I got at Walmart last year and this sticker has boo on it and I thought it was a really cute idea. So I want to put that little sticker on the back just so that it looks kind of cute and decorative on the back. Okay, let's do that for the rest of the other, the other two. And then we're done with our cute, adorable paper clip. These are so cute. You can add these to your flip book. You can add them to a pocket letter. 
or you can add them to a snail mail whatever you want but you see how pretty that boo looks in the back if you don't have a boo just use whatever you have whatever that's Halloween related sticker just put in the back just like make it looks a little bit more fun but that's that's the idea though I wanted you guys to see how easy it was to create these super adorable little um, paper clips using really hardly anything I mean you saw that I really didn't use a lot of supplies and most of the supplies that I use I already had around me so I just wanted to show you guys okay honeys I hope you enjoy this short video and I hope you guys um, try it give it a try make a whole bunch of these these are really really cute you can even gift these for Halloween let's say you're doing like a Halloween goodie bag for someone you can gift them these very adorable and very cute okay honeys all right I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you let me know what you think about these adorable paper clips. Let me know if you create them. Tag me on Instagram. All right, honeys. Um, I will see you on my next video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you thumbs up. Let me know what you think. I love you so much. Have a fantastic weekend. Please be safe out there. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, honeys.